Are you ready for some fantastic updates that have just arrived on Illustrate AI? We now have DALI 3 image to image, collections prompt enhancements, and other cool improvements. Let's start with the prompt. Um, if you have no idea about what to generate, you can find some suggestion ideas in light gray. Um, each time you open Illustrate AI or hit the refresh button, you'll get a new idea. But that's not all. Let's say you want to create a cartoon cat in a forest, but you're unsure about how to make the prompt more interesting or what details to add. Now you have this magical button called Enhance. If you click on it, within a few seconds, you'll receive a cool, detailed prompt. Then there's the negative prompt that you can turn on, where you can specify the things you don't want to appear in your generation. From the available art styles, you can choose the one that suits your preference from a variety of options. You have the flexibility to select between generating one to four images at once by setting the image count. The size option allows you to adjust the ratio of the image, choosing between square, landscape, or portrait. Additionally, you can upload an image, although I will show you how to do that later. Lastly, an important feature is the ability to switch between the Illustrate AI engine and DALI 3. DALI 3 doesn't offer all the options available in Illustrate AI. Firstly, it lacks a field for a negative prompt, um, but DALI 3 excels in understanding prompts better, allowing you to include details about what you don't want in the positive prompt. When it comes to art styles, DALI 3 provides only two options, vivid and natural. You can opt for vivid for illustrations with vibrant colors and natural for a more lifelike appearance, suitable for photos, since overly vivid colors may look unnatural. Unlike Illustrate AI, DALI 3 generates only one image at a time and doesn't offer the image to image or seed options. Instead, you have a quality setting, which can be either standard or HD. Choosing HD adds more intricate details to the image, making it suitable for complex prompts while standard is ideal for simpler requests. The choice of quality also depends on the prompt. When you're ready, click on Create to see the illustration we've generated. It looks quite impressive. Let's do a quick comparison. DALI 3 excels in understanding specific prompts, increasing your chances of getting desired results. However, it lacks a negative prompt option that Illustrate AI offers. Illustrate AI boasts 18 art styles, while DALI 3 provides only two. Illustrate AI allows you to generate four images simultaneously, while DALI 3 can produce only one at a time. The size or ratio options are the same for both. Illustrate AI has the added benefit of an image to image option, which is useful for creating images based on others, a feature missing in DALI 3. Illustrate AI offers more advanced options like scale, steps, and seed for creating variations in images. Um, for photos and some paintings, uh, Illustrate AI generally yields better results, but DALI 3 performs better in illustrations with fewer errors or mutations. DALI 3 also excels in understanding text, especially short words, surpassing Illustrate AI in this regard. I have a prompt for a cartoon bear generated with Illustrate AI. It produced a lovely pastel colored bear with some hearts. Now, let me show you the same prompt in DALI 3. Since DALI doesn't have specific art styles like digital art, and we only specified cartoon, it chose a vector style cartoon look, which looks great, but has a different style. Here, it appears more like a pastel painting because we mentioned pastel in the prompt. However, if we add words like digital painting to the DALI prompt, um, we can have more control over the style. As you can see, um, it's, it's, it's quite different. So with DALI, it's important to be clear and write prompts as if you're speaking to a human to get the desired result. I attempted food photography with DALI 3 and I found that its major weakness lies in achieving realism. Even when I tried to create a realistic photo, I ended up with an illustration-like result instead of a photorealistic one. I also experimented with the natural art style instead of vibrant, and while it improved the results a bit, it still fell short of photorealism. Comparatively, when I used Illustrate AI with the photographic art style, the results appeared more realistic and managed to capture a natural look better. 
In most cases, as you can see in these images, Illustrate AI does a commendable job. Now let's talk about the area where Dali truly shines, creating illustrations with text. When it comes to short text, Dali excels, producing fantastic illustrations most of the time. Illustrate AI is not too shabby with short text either, but it can sometimes misspell words and struggle to get the details right and have difficulty positioning the sign correctly. Now let's switch to the Illustrate AI engine. Um, in the uh, start image section, you can upload uh, your own image like this heart with flowers. You can click replace to uh, change it with another image or remove it altogether. Now when you upload an image, the size or ratio options will adjust to match your image either square, landscape, or portrait. You can choose to generate multiple variations at once. For example, I'll select four. For the art style, I'll choose digital art and describe what I want in the prompt. It doesn't have to be an exact match. You can add other details or change the subject. There's an important slider here that determines how much your uploaded image influences the generated results. I'll start with 1%, which has a low influence. You can see that the results are similar but varied. Here's the original image, and these are the results. If you increase the image strength, it'll be even more similar, as you can see. However, please note that there's no you know, publish button, as this helps avoid copyright or trademark issues. You can download the generated images or delete them. Let's reduce the strength to 1% and try again. You can also change the prompt to enhance the results. If it's not what you had in mind, you can increase the image strength. It's a powerful tool, so use it responsibly. Avoid copying other people's work. Instead, create variations or new ideas from your existing work or turn your photos into art. Let's try another image like this mushroom house illustration. I'll add a a cute prompt and en enhance it, uh, then play with the strength slider. Yeah, you can see a nice variety of houses, but if you want them more similar to the original style, increase the image strength. Now they're similar, but with subtle differences between them. Remember, you can delete or download these generations. There might be an upscaling feature in the future, but for now, you can use your favorite upscaler to make them larger. I generated this butterfly with Dolly 3. Um, when you view the image, you have two options, publish and delete. Let's publish the image and you'll see it turn green to indicate it's published. Clicking on the image now provides delete and download options. But what's new is that when you hover over the three dots, you have the option to add it to a collection. Collections are a recent addition and are a great way to organize your designs. In the top right corner of the screen, you'll see a button labeled My Collection. Clicking on it lets you access all your collections, if you've created any. You can see I've created a few, like some for illustrations, such as these cute bunnies. For each image in your collection, you can delete it or download it. To create a new collection, click Add Collection, name it, and it will create that collection folder for you. Since the collection is new, it is empty. So let's add something. Go to the three dots again, click Add to Collection, and you'll see all your collections at the top. The new one is on top, or you can create a collection right from this page. Select the collection where you want to place it and hit Save. Another method to add to a collection is to go to your portfolio and look for the Collections tab. Here you can find your existing collections. If you go to your creations or someone else's creations, you can sort by new to see recent generations. Click on an image to open it and look for the show collections button. Click on it and you can add the image to an existing collection or create a new one like I'm doing here with the penguin. You can add the same design to multiple collections. For example, this one fits in animals. And maybe it's a fit in Christmas and winter. 
You can even create a new collection if none of your existing ones fit the design. Then, when you go to your collection, you can find all the designs there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and let me know in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see next, whether it's more Dolly tutorials, image to image tutorials, or anything else you'd like to learn. Thank you for watching and have a great day.